I grew up about five blocks from here. I used to come play in this park. I protested against the Vietnam War in this park. When I was a youngin. And I'm so inspired to see all of you here. This is what democracy looks like. I'm here today to talk to our friends in the Democratic Party that feel Bernie in their hearts but are supporting Hillary with their pragmatic selves. No, 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 these are not bad people. They fear the Republicans' radical divisiveness just as much as we do. We have all been fed a steady stream of propaganda that furthers the establishment's narrative that Hillary is the presumptive nominee. This narrative is strong and persuasive. It has been promulgated for months by CNN, by the New York Times, and by oh so many in the mainstream media. Now, if we had gotten in line, there wouldn't be a problem, would there? The media and the ghosts of the DLC would have had their way, and government would carry on as it has for the last 30 years. Establishment figures would get elected and re-elected without any accountability for their bad decisions. Outsider candidates like Bernie Sanders would be marginalized and tolerated for a few primaries before falling in line with the Democratic Party power structure. But the DNC and the Clintons have got a big problem. Times have changed. <laughs> Bernie is not the obligatory progressive that will keep the left in line until the presumptive moderate nominee emerges. Bernie is not the Democratic Party insider that will bow down to the elites in the party. We are done with that. We are done with compromising our ideals. We are done with triangulation and fear-based politics. Now I understand our friends' resistance to Bernie. They have been told by the mainstream media that he doesn't matter, that he's unelectable. I'm here today to encourage you to, to address these people in the coming days, to encourage them that it, they are worthy of dreaming big that they should not surrender their ideals to political pragmatism. That change will not happen by choosing a candidate entirely entrenched in the dysfunction of the past. So, who is winning among independents? Who is winning the young vote? Those people that do the hard work. That go out and canvas. Phone bank. And volunteer. Not phone banks of super PACs. Phone banks of individuals like us. that know the only way change is going to happen is with our hard work and our idealism. Who has won the last seven out of eight contests? Who has got momentum on their side? Yeah, perhaps.
perhaps the people of this country are voting this way because they're no longer willing to reward the failures of pragmatists and war-supporting Democrats. Perhaps the people of this country want leaders that can see clearly and make the right decision regardless of the way the wind is blowing at the moment. Perhaps the voters want a candidate with integrity. Bernie has stood with us. He voted against the Iraq war. He is opposed to fracking. He voted against NAFTA. He is opposed to the death penalty. We are supporting a candidate that has, throughout his career, stood up for working people, for veterans, for the unemployed, for the poor, for CWA. For abortion rights. For LGBT rights. We are supporting a candidate that has taken principled positions when others have compromised. What a radical concept. A politician that has a moral bottom line. A politician that is not swayed by polls or reckless ambition or inner party pragmatism. Could Bernie Sanders be leading us into a new paradigm? A paradigm where one's previous actions actually are relevant to one's current campaign. A time where accountability actually matters, where politicians are held responsible for their bad policy decisions. A time where the expedient and pragmatic within the political and media establishment are no longer rewarded for their compliance and subservience to corporate interests and party politics. We are in a new time, and you, here in Washington Square Park, are leading us into a new future. You realize how important this election is. You are the visionaries that realize the time is now. Now is the time for the truth. Now is the time for tolerance. Now is the time for love. Now is the time for unbridled idealism. Now is the time to believe that we can accomplish great things beyond the accepted realm of possibility. Now is the time to elect a leader that will lead us into a future of prosperity, peace, and progressive change. Now is the time to dream big. Now is the time for Bernie Sanders. to introduce a man that used to be my representative when I lived here in Greenwich Village, Tom Dwayne. 